or tractor, I may look at this and say, well, I don't really need this one anymore. But, you know, why worry about it? This is still struggling. Okay, well. Goodness me. Serious struggling. Come on. said the thing to do next is to uh, oh yeah we're slipping okay running with narrow tires not working so I might have the horsepower now we definitely do not have the traction so fix number two should have done that earlier rather than just checking the engine I should have seen check to see if we have um, traction on the uh, on the wheels we do not so uh, customize It's another 4,200. Standard tyres are free. I think the BKTs tend to have the best traction, although they're only available in wide. Okay. Do I put weights on the back as well? I've got a weight on the front. I've got a huge weight on the back, namely the trailer loaded with goodness knows how many um, uh, bales. So in theory, start that, put the weight on the front. That will give us added traction on the front wheels. Obviously, the trailer hitch is going to be crazy heavy. So that's going to give me added traction on the back. Possibly reduce the traction on the front, but I think not, not too greatly. And let's not drop the weight off. Let's load the trailer. And... We're still slipping. Okay then. Fun and games with tires. Oh. Oops. Oh. Oh, now the other thing we did this week was we now have an emergency generator installed on the house, so power failures will no longer affect me. Um, up until now, uh, our computers have had about 120 minutes of um, 3,000, 2,000. Let's go BKTs on the back on, on this. As I said, I found BKTs seem to have the most traction. So, we'll use BKTs for wides. Does now mean that we have, well, it already meant that we had a 
two sets of tyres for this. Because we bought the narrows and you get the standards free. Um, we now have three sets of tyres for this. Um, and we can always buy weights. I have to remember uh, what tyres we're using for what purpose though because what I don't want to be doing is switching to Trollborg Narrows because I'll have to pay for them again. Okay, now let's see if this works. Back wheels are still slipping. Front wheels are okay though. No, they're not. And as I said, this has nothing to do with horsepower and everything to do with traction. I think once we're on the road... We may have less issues, I'm not sure. I mean, I am not kidding. I've got my foot on the floor. This thing is really not having fun. And now you know why tractors travel slow, slowly on the roads. <laughs> we're having this, some serious issues here. Now, now we're getting some traction moving. But that could be because we're also heading downhill. And even so, we're still only up to four miles an hour. And then, of course, I say to heck with it and go and lease a New Holland T8 for an hour. Is the problem with uh, obviously the variable sized bales if we were running 125s they could probably all sit on the back and we'd be at 70,000 liters and have another load to take down to the store but uh, where we we're running 150 centimeter bales on the back of this thing and uh, That looks like we've got traction at the moment, so I would say now we're now we have a horsepower issue. Oh, five miles an hour. Go, go, four and a half. And then we start climbing uphill and oh we're still making four. No, three. Two. And not so much. And the problem is now I'm into this for, what did we add, 12 and a half plus three, it's pretty much another 15,000 on top of what we'd already put into this. be slipping slightly but I think the issue is is the amount of horsepower we're outputting right now is it worth another run to the store no we're still slipping I need 200 horsepower and doubles front and back slipping yeah there is uh, well it is what it is we are going to make it to the store we 
We might not be there till five o'clock this evening at this rate. <laughs> Goodness grief. Of course, I could drop another 12,500 and make it a 200 horsepower tractor. see with our last farm we did have I mean we were looking actually we we were over horsepowered on a lot of stuff because of issues like this but our workhorses were just shy of 400 horsepower we had two of those and then we had three other tractors in the 250 horsepower range this is small for that but um, yeah it's not necessarily a bad idea. We could just then have a, a telehandler or something like that for working in the farmyard and uh, really just go with uh, this being our utility tractor. But frankly, I think I'm taking this down to the store and getting another 25 horsepower added to the uh, engine. actually do anything I think no we'll just drop that off we'll go get ourselves some more horses That's 25,000. That makes the cost of this tractor around it's 116 base plus, was it 25,000 on the engine? So about 140,000 for this. It's still probably the cheapest of the medium tractor options. It's just looking at the long term um, prospects. Uh, you know, where does this tractor fit in with um, future development? It's a bit light to be a medium, you know, a, a medium capacity tractor for us. Um, definitely not big enough for a large tractor. We're probably still going to be looking at having. Um, somewhere up over 350 horsepower for our major workhorses, especially as we start getting into bigger fields and needing bigger equipment. Um, uh, but that may not be true. You know, it's, I'm looking at um, obviously the hills on the, on the uh, map are a problem, as we've just discovered. I know. I need a new chip, Mr. Uh, workman person. Um, oh, I have to pay for the full amount. Sheesh. Okay, this has just got seriously expensive. Very well. It is what it is. So I've just spent... 12,500 that I didn't need to. I could add that back. But uh, we won't. So many mistakes. And hopefully this works. Or we've just spent uh, 37,500. Well, call it 40,000 in error. 
it's not like I'm not really looking at we'll be spending much money in the next couple of months. We'll have the income from the the silage bales, which will be a good thing. I was kind of hoping the engine upgrades would be accumulative, cumulative, so I wouldn't have to buy a 200 horsepower engine to go on top of the 175 and the 150 I already have installed, but unfortunately that's not a thing. We do not get a refund for the 175. We will need to put the narrow tyres back on in spring when we come to spray our barley. That's not the turn, it's the one after the uh, signpost. And I must remember to turn the uh, crop sensor on when we do that to uh, improve our environmental score. Okay, we should have a trailer just up here with a large queue of traffic behind it. Did we really not make it far up the hill? That is good grief. It's further down the hill than I thought it was. And uh, yes, lots of traffic. I'll just drive through the yard. Well, all you guys behind me you might still not be happy with this because we're still probably going to be crawling up the hill at five miles an hour. Okay, we'll just do the owl trick and turn my head one 360 degrees and go. Okay, we have enough power to make it to two miles an hour. Yay! Slight traction issues, but it's a mile an hour faster than we were achieving. I'm definitely glad I didn't go for a small tractor at least. I mean even if I'd gone for something like the Class Arian 600 which to my mind is a technical replacement for the Valtra N. Um, similar horsepower ranges, similar functionality on all counts. Um, 205 horsepower is the maximum. And then the chassis is lighter so uh, you're still going to have issues there. Uh, again, kind of my own fault. We Obviously in future we can use this bale trailer, but it's going to have to be single single stack with this particular tractor on the front. We're going to need to look for something probably 300 horsepower in the longer term. We're not going to be able to afford one for probably a couple of years, hopefully once the cows are around mine. That'll improve the income. kind of hoping to use the income from this. This the income from this I think we're looking at is it five hundred? No, two hundred. So that's one fifth. So twenty thousand income from this load. Um, I think sunflowers uh, eight hundred 
at the best price. We got 30,000 there, 3 8 uh, 24, so 24,000 income from that. So for our silage plus the sunflowers, that total is 50,000. We do have money left over, about 300,000 available as a loan from the bank. But I'd like to avoid doing that. We've got the potatoes to sell. Not that they're great income. Oh. So our neighbours across the street, I think we were used to have father and son and then the son's significant other and her kids came to live with them. We moved in just as COVID started and so the kids and the woman didn't live there for quite a while. I'm guessing because the older guy had, does have health issues. Um, so, but as time went on and the COVID um, scare got less, um, the woman moved in with her kids. I think she might have a new car. And they've come show, come around to show dad a new car because he you know the the younger the son who i assume was the son drives a big truck so he always comes around in his big blue truck but, uh, yeah go up to three miles an hour but yeah so we had a generator installed this week uh, they delivered the unit on Monday the gas people came around and connected it up on Tuesday the electric people came around on Thursday <coughs> so we were out without power all day Thursday and I'm pretty sure the scheduler said um, they'd be around Tuesday uh, Thursday afternoon so I was figuring I could do half a day's work and then um, be without power for the afternoon. Um, as it was, we were without power from about nine o'clock in the morning all the way through to uh, oh, nine o'clock. And of course, the electric company took the uh, opportunity to upgrade our uh, electric meter so yay thanks for that and then um, the inspector came round on Friday morning and uh, got all the the generator tested and the switches tested and everything else and basically certified that it was working so as I said, now we have generator power if we need it, which is, you know, primarily a good thing for me. Um, we do have generally one or two storms per year that can take out power for uh, hours to a day or a day and a half. So, um, and I work from home and I'm a computer programmer so I need power and uh, my office hasn't given me a, a battery so uh, if the power goes out their PC crashes to dead and then I have to restart it so if that damages it sorry tough um, you'll have to provide me with a replacement but our personal computers all have their own battery as I said which is huge I think capable of uh, about 90, set, 90 minutes of uh, auxiliary power before they shut down. So uh, we don't need one that big anymore because obviously uh, I need it to run for like maximum of two minutes while the generator starts up and takes 
up the power load. Okay, this 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 hill not so steep. Oh man, that's a mess. badly here. still think there might be a little bit of a traction issue and definitely a horsepower issue. So again, any tractors that we're buying for the farm are going to be oversized for the equipment. You know, we're going to be looking at 350 horsepower with 250, 200 or 300 horsepower range of equipment just so that we've got the extra capacity to be able to actually move equipment unpowered up and down these hills <clears throat> and potentially you know, if we're in some of the fields off to the side here where the where the uh, the hill is steep we are still going to need significant horsepower to be able to haul working equipment up the hill oh look they sorted their lives out exchanged insurance details and they're now behind me again. Now technically what I should do is pull over at a convenient point and let them pass. Unfortunately no convenient points on this map so uh, they're just going to have to sit behind me at two miles an hour. Real world they'd probably just sail past on the other side of the road but AI traffic's not that smart yet. other thing that happened this week. Uh, not a lot else happened this week. I I can check. Yeah, the fact that that's sunk into the road means that trailer is overloaded and we probably shouldn't be hauling 104,500 litres of stuff on the back. And if I'd had more bales, I'd have had another three. But anyway, since the trailer's loaded, it's loaded, and we're going to live with what we have there. We've still got those two grass bales, which I can't do anything with unless I buy um, an extractor. And, you know, maybe that's an option. I have used... I, I did use an extractor in Farm Sim 19 um, for contracts. Um, the Osa family farm at that time was uh, Field Mountain, uh, which Mrs. Osa and I played. We had a pair of Valtra A's as the primary tractors on the farm. And then rather than have, and, a, and I had a, a tally handler as well. So for baling purposes, and we were running cows, um, I would make silage and I used the extractor to make, make the silage. So we would wrap the bales and uh, stick them on the back of a bale collector. Basically, I, I, you know, we'd hitch up the bale collector. We'd go around and we'd collect all the bales off the field. Uh, Mrs. Osa would drop the bales off and I'd load the extractor with the 